All right guys, welcome back to the next video, which we're doing the keto crate this time. So we just did the keto box with my mom. This is Jan, you know Dean, I'm Steffi, and this is the Messy Keto Kitchen. So the keto crate is the other subscription snack service. If you are not familiar with it, we will put details below, but I figured it'd be nice to do a side-by-side -side comparison because you just did the keto box. Now you can try the keto crate. Ready to get started? Ready. Ooh, crate club party. I don't know what? what that's about. Yeah. Crate Club is an exclusive members only hotspot for fun and information. Okay, we'll get to that later. Whoa. <laughs> oh man, I'm already excited because I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But all right, the first item is the Nui cookie. And we know we haven't tried the chocolate chip before. There you go. Nui. I don't think we've tried the chocolate chip. We've had the chocolate and then we've had the carrot cake, which I think I told you was disgusting, but the chocolate. I think it was chocolate we had that was really good. Are you serious? This was just in our keto box. It's the same exact thing as the mug cake. Well, I guess at least we'll have two of them. Got two of them. <laughs> I know what's for dessert tonight. Oh yeah. All right, chocolate premium nut butter. Stop it with, Dean always laughs when we say nut butter. So this you one's- just squirted in your mouth. Oh my God. Dean, my mom's here. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my God. I'm talking about a butter made from nut. Yeah, what are you talking about, you pervert? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, this one has almonds, macadamia nuts, cocoa butter, MCT oil, erythritol, cocoa powder, salt, cinnamon, and stevia. These are, if they're if they're cost effective, they're awesome for on the go, squirting nut butter in your mouth. Oh, really? I <laughs> thought that would be a baking thing. Oh, please. All right, you kids. <laughs> All right, Grapow. This one I've been wanting to try for a long time. They have three Grapow. different Grapow. Like, uh, and even if you see it, it's like the classic Batman style, old style uh, on a on a on So these are Snickerdoodle, and they're supposed to be like granola, but they're more like crumbled up cookie bits. So I've been wanting to try these for a long time, and <laughs> they sent us Iota again, which are the sunflower kernels, which is nice. It's got a little. I don't know, it's got a little twisty top, I guess, for ease of putting nuts in your mouth. Oh my God, Dean, it's a meat stick. What? I swear to God, is it, I have not had one box without a meat stick. This is Chomps Snack Sticks, grass-fed beef sticks. So, in case you guys have never had one. All right, another pork rind, sea salt and cracked black pepper. This is, who is this? Southern Recipe, I don't know who they are. Chicharron. Chicharron, so another thing of that. Uh, crunchy cheese crisps by Bunker Hill. They make some very fine cheese crisps. We've tried those before. Um, we've also tried these protein crisps before from Shrewd Foods. So mom hasn't tried them since so it be new to her. Ooh, this is interesting. Feel good chocolate milk mix. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting. What is it? How are you supposed to make it? Mix two tablespoons with one cup of your favorite milk. So I bet we could try the milk milkadamia that we still have for that. Okay, well, I gotta say so far, a lot of the stuff is stuff that we have already tried, but mom hasn't. So that being said, mom, what would you like to start with? Okay, we're gonna put the mug cake to the side because obviously we're not trying that one. So do you want to try the shrewd food protein crisp? They're like little chubby, yes, okay. I was going to say sure. I don't like, I don't like when people say sure. She sure. went. Sure. Okay, I don't know why I'm an idiot. I don't know why. I blame my parents. I don't feel like I ought to take that <laughs> on. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. You're my hero. All right. So, oh, oh, cheese puffs. Kind of like little cheese puffs. I remember liking these a lot. That's the texture of them. Cheesy poops. Yep, these are really good. I remember us making jokes about them last time with, I like cheesy poops, you like cheesy poops. What's it called? These are shrewd food. 14 grams of protein. Okay, two grams of net carbs, high protein, low fat, gluten-free, no corn syrup, no peanuts or tree nuts, and no artificial flavors or preservatives. Two grams of carbs, very good. What do you think? Is that the serving? Mm -hmm. The whole bag is a serving. Okay. What do you think? It's really good. Mm -hmm. I remember liking these ones a lot. And I'll look at the prices for you guys too. Mmm. Okay. Since we're already on the cheese train, we'll go ahead and do the um, Bunker Hill Cheddar Cheese Crisps. These ones are a lot easier to open. I say that now before I even have the bag open. It's, it's going to ruin me. I did. I spoke too early. So that while he's um, opening that with the shrewds, go ahead. I was just saying, it's it's nice to see he's struggling with Yeah, it. it's not just me that struggled with that bag. But <laughs> while we're back on the shrewd food ones, they have, it looks like four different flavors. I guess I do have to borrow my mom's reading glasses. It looks like they have four different flavors. So you have sriracha cheddar, which would be amazing. Ooh. Brick oven pizza. We have the baked cheddar that we just tried. And then they have protein croutons, which are Parmesan herb. 
Mm. So I bet those would be really good. And so this one with the coupon code that we're gonna put below is 15% off on the order. And again, I have no idea how much they cost in real life. So it we'll cost X amount of dollars. X amount of dollars. And you're gonna get 15% off that X amount of dollars. So Okay. Okay. Doll hairs. Doll hairs. 15% off your doll hairs. So that's good. All right, so we're gonna do the bunker hill things. Dean actually had to pause the video to get a knife to open this bag. So it wasn't just me. Like I'm not the only idiot at the table. There's two or three. My mom is a genius. It's just Dean and I are that thank you. Thank you. For, for you, mother. Have a nice bouquet. Dean. And these ones are always, they almost always look the same. So, so this one's very crunchy. So they you're like gonna, honeycombs. They look like honeycombs, yep. Yeah. Smells like the little cheese crisps, the squares, like a little cheese cracker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. they were really good. This one's really good. I remember liking these, like, I like the Parmesan ones, like the flavor's good, but these ones are way better. And the cheese flavor is very, very pronounced. It's very, and it's got a little bit of that oil with it. I know that sounds weird, but it's got that good oil from like the cheese. That doesn't sound like I'm selling it very well, but I promise it's really, aren't it's very quite good. as rich as some of the ones I've had. Some of the ones I've had, you can only eat like one or two. So far, both of these. He's okay. really good. And I remember the Bunker Hill ones are a little bit spendier than the Shrewd Food, Shrewd Farms ones, the Shrewd Food ones. But they're, I mean, I think I bought last time I got like two or three bags and they lasted a while because they are, they satisfy the crunch, the the fattiness and everything. And then the cheese, it's very good. Again, that's one serving. Let's see, one serving is approximately seven crisps. So I'm gonna say there's probably three servings per bag, give or take. But uh, one serving, 180 calories, 15 grams of fat, one gram of carb. Mm -hmm. Those are really good macros there. So mm -hmm. that one's a winner. Put those in front of you. Okay. Yeah. So, so far, we're off to a good start. I really am going to open this bag this time. You can do it. Yeah, I did it. And this is the sea salt and black pepper. I'm not a big fan of sea salt and black pepper. It's, it's not bad. It's just so basic, and that's always what they send. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys are enjoying all of the crunching into your microphones because all this food is very crunchy. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Between this one and the other one mm -hmm. we tried, it was heavy rosemary. I would eat these. Yeah, and these ones I would definitely, I mean, this is great for a recipe too, again, depending on the cost of them. Regular pork rinds that you can get those $2 bags are also great for like deep fried chicken, for keto. And well, these taste actually. like the ones you get in the, you know, in the stores, mm -hmm. but you can eat these ones. Yeah. Whereas those ones, they have all those little hard ones that are like a rock. Mm -hmm. No, those ones are good. Again, I probably, myself, I would not purchase these just because the flavor, I don't like this. I, I don't dislike it. It's just not, it doesn't wow me. But if they had other flavors, which they might, I would probably try those out. The texture's really good. It's light and fluffy, and that's what I like with that. So there's those. So far, we're doing pretty good. I don't know if I said this, but pork rinds when you crush them up are really good to make meatloaf with. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you were saying that in the last one, but it's true because you need a binding agent for your meatloaf, and so because a lot of times we use oatmeal or or bread some people crumbs, need yeah breadcrumbs bread a lot of time. Um, so that that's a really good replacement, and it actually doesn't affect the flavor at all unless it's a very overpowering pork rind. So it's really just a great binding agent. We should definitely try that. All right, so we'll try sunflower seeds because nobody's ever tried sunflower seeds before. The, the catch is that it has a twist top. I'm sold. I'm sold. I, know. Which I, don't, I don't get the twist top as opposed to a Ziploc bag. But. <laughs> it's a marketing strategy. So now you still have to throw this in your mouth. Well, if you had the container like I have, you just, you know, you drink from it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. These are umami flavor. Apple cider, umami. Apple cider vinegar. Blech. Not a fan. Nope. I'm not going to spit them out because that's rude. <laughs> I do not like the flavor. And the dogs are outside. Yeah, the dogs won't eat it off the floor. I'm not a fan of apple cider vinegar flavor things, so that was really weird. If I had my survival pack, yeah. I would put that in there. That's okay, there you go. Because, like, you're what? You can't, you can't be picky if you're about to die. Okay. It's apple cider vinegar. So those, yeah. The the concept, I kind of I mean, remember the last time they sent us these, they were just the plain salt. And it was, again, it's kind of nice to put in your purse and then be able to use the twist top, but that's not really like a make or break thing for me when it comes to sunflower seeds. Eh, would I buy these again? Probably not. What do you think, Dean? I just didn't like that flavor. I give it like a two or a three. I won't even give it that much. What about you? Actually, the after flavor wasn't that bad. I'll say a three. I think I agree with that. It was that initial flavor, maybe because I didn't look at the flavor first, so I didn't know what to prepare myself yeah, it little, for. It was a little, uh, a little much umami. Okay, 
All right, now we're on to the sweeter stuff. So do you guys want to start with the chocolate premium nut butter? You don't like chocolate, so it's fine. No, I, I, it's not that I don't like I any know. chocolate. We'll just, but it's, seriously, you just squeeze this in your mouth? You squeeze this in purpose? your mouth. Just it's Again, it's an easy on-the-go pack. All right, so I'll put a little in your... You should be running, hiking, and just not even stop. That uh, does uh, not look... Uh, I just, like, spilled it over. It does mm. not look yummy. Well, it's, it probably is yummy, but... I was probably supposed to knead the bag or something like that first, but all right. Um, yes, figure that out. I don't know how. That's not good. <laughs> ah! It probably has to just be a... Yeah, you probably do just have to put it in your mouth and squeeze. I was trying to be... I don't know why I'm trying to be sanitary here. We're all family, but... Look at goo pack. Just don't spit in it. Oh my God. I'm just making a bigger mess. I might try. Okay, I'm going to stop trying. I can't tell if it's good. I know. I'm just getting the goo everywhere. <laughs> all right. I think it's good. I'm. The thing is, is that all the like the, the solid stuff is at the very bottom, and it's not mashing very well. So it's not really. And when I try to mash it, now that I've opened the bag, it's just exploding. Don't say it, Dean. I think they're onto something, but they're not quite there. Mm -mm. Uh, they don't have the consistency right. It needs to be a little thicker. Hmm. So the product is good. The delivery is not. And also the ratio to chocolate to nut butter is too heavy on chocolate. I disagree. I think it's fine. It was more like a peanut butter cup where it's a little bit of chocolate on the outside and lots of the yummy peanut butter. Well, it's or cold. whatever nut butter they're working with here. I like it better. Yeah. I think I would put those on the cheese puffs. You think so? <laughs> just, no. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, that was messy. Well, butter, messy like, keto. Messy keto kitchen, kitchen here. Really? All over my hands. Okay. So, Mom, which one do you want to try next? Do you want to try the Grapau snickerdoodle or the chocolate chip cookie? I feel like saying Grapau. Grapau. Okay. Dean, will you open that Ow. since I am now covered in chocolate peanut butter goodness? You can't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. I still am. She still is. I'm 40 years old. She's still the boss of me. <laughs> here, that's what it looks like inside the... Not that you can see that at all. Let's I pull it out. Should, yeah, I think I put it out there thinking that you wouldn't be able to, but... So it's like yeah. big chunks of... And this is a... It's, it's supposed to be, they call it granola, but it's pretty, uh, from what I gathered, it's pretty much just big chunks of cookie. And this mm. one is snickerdoodle. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Very good. That was really good. Mmm. Beautiful cinnamony. Very cinnamony, but without being overpowering. Mm. The texture's good. Is there a sliver of almond or something? There is. There's almonds in there. Coconut. And coconut. Mm-hmm. No, that's really good. Mm-hmm. And I remember probably almost a year ago, maybe less, I looked up this and it was, it, I looked this up and it wasn't that expensive. It wasn't bad the price wise. So again, I'll look it all up, put it down below for you guys, but that one was good. What would you rate that, Ma? I'm gonna give that a 10. That one's really good. And part of it is so I could keep saying Grapow. Grapow. Yeah. Um it's delicious. It's really good. 13 grams of fat. Um it's seven grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and then three grams of sugar alcohol. So it is at two grams of net carbs. That's really good. It's really delicious. Yeah, is it serving? It appears that it is um let's see. So there's two per package here in this serving size, which is a pretty good size package. It is not that I can see. We'll just say it's a good size package, but this is just a sampler pack. I know that they usually come in like a, um, mm -hmm. kind of like smaller than a cereal bag, a little smaller than that, but, or a potato chip bag. Mm -hmm. I would definitely cost a lot, uh, cost allowing, cost, is that the word I want to use? Cost allowing, sure. But if I had the money, if mm -hmm. the money was okay, I would, I would probably buy this just to have a little bit on hand for a quick little, and a sweet piece. Yeah. A sweet treat. And it's, it's sweet enough to, whoa. Oh. It's sweet enough to create uh, curb that craving, but not over the top sweet to where it's mm -hmm. just an assault. I think they earned the caps and the exclamation mark there because it is There's really an good. There's an exclamation well, because it's not an oh. onomatopoeia without the exclamation point. <laughs> that one was really good. Okay. Okay. So now we're on to our newy cookie, which I have spilled all sorts of stuff all over it with that nut butter. Um, this was a bigger package than the last one for, if I remember correctly. So it's a that's it. They look, they're a little bit on the firmer side. It looks, but I mean, not terrible. There you go. And I found that these ones are maybe these. No, it was the, I was thinking the noosh ones. That's what I was thinking of. The newy ones. I think we've only tried one. All right. Of course, we just had something really sweet before this, so it's it's not bad. I probably wouldn't buy it. It tastes like they're left in the oven a little too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't love it. They're just a little overbaked, which makes the chocolate taste a little off. Yeah. I don't think this wouldn't really satisfy the the cookie craving. If you're having a cookie craving, this wouldn't be. Yeah, the grapau is way better as far as a cookie craving. So yeah, I give that one a two. Again, survival package. You well, put all of these in there. Kind of has a chemically taste. Do you taste that? I kind of wonder if we got a bad batch. I don't know. To me, it's it's kind of flat. 
very flat. Doesn't really have any pronounced flavor. It just tastes like some sort of baked good that like Dean said got over baked. But it's burnt chocolate. Yeah, and it, it's not great. We'll put that one off to the side as the trash pile. Okay, so that leaves us with two things left. Well, besides the mug cake that we're gonna try, there's a meat stick. <laughs> Do you want to try the meat stick, Dean? I would love to try the meat Gene's stick. Gene's super excited because we don't ever get to try meat sticks in any of these boxes. <laughs> And my hands are all like coated with the oils from the nut butter. There you I go. I still have cookies. <laughs> she still has the cookies. So yes, this one is Chomp Snack Sticks. 100 calories, no sugar, 9 grams of protein, uh, 6 grams of fat. <clears throat> meat stick. Do you eat meat, meat sticks a lot? Occasionally. If you go to a convenience it's store. It's more of a thing. Well, sometimes I go to a butcher shop. They'll have their own one that they do. Mm -hmm. I, get those. I think I like this one better than the, the NYX sticks. These ones have a little bit more of a, like more a little bit of a pepper flavor, but. I like the NYX sticks better, actually. Really? This one I think had more flavor. Well, and this one doesn't have a lot of fat. No. And it's because they're using high end beef. No, yeah, that's a good point. So it's not as soft. These don't have as much fat to them, or they do, but it's not the same thing, so you don't get that. You kind of need cheap beef for this one. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I mean, again, for me, a meat stick is like if you go into a convenience store and you're really like, man, I really need a good keto snack. It's high in protein. You can find them in, in almost anywhere. Any convenience store has them, grocery store, so the, and there's always options. So that's, for me, I wouldn't go out and purposely spend the money to buy these individualized ones. There's To me, there's nothing that blows me away about them that makes I me just- I love tasting more pepper. That's, yeah, that's kind of in the back taste. So do you guys want to try the sweet cheat chocolate milk? I don't know that our macadamia milk is still good. Oh no, yeah, that's a good point. Anyway. We'll get back to you on this one. So I think that was the last of the stuff in the box here. How would you rate this box overall? I like, out of the nine, I definitely like three. Ten, ten things, we have ten. Okay, so you I definitely like the three. What three things did you really like? The um, crunchy cheese crisps, mm -hmm. true food protein. So obviously I'm getting my cheese here. The cheese and good. the grapao. Grapao! Wow. Um, I don't know about the mug cake or this one. We'll try the mug cake and the others were I would I would eat these pork rinds kind of on the lower end of the scale here. So. If somebody offered them to you and you were mm -hmm. hungry, you and I was them. hungry, yeah. Yeah. What about you, Dean? I like the keto box better this month actually. Interesting. I don't know. It was kind of a it even blitz. This, this isn't bad. I, no, it's not bad. I think the cookie just made me sad. That Nui <laughs> cookie is not, and I, I was thinking about it, and I mentioned it a minute ago, I think I was confusing the Nui with the Noosh, remember the Noosh stuff? Because yeah. we had the chocolate cookies, but the Nui cookies, I feel like this is the second time we've had them, and I have not liked them either time. It just, it does not satisfy that craving, and I guarantee you, based on the packaging, I could be wrong, based on the packaging and all the hype and everything, I bet you that those are not inexpensive cookies. I would bet you that each one of those packages is three bucks. I could be wrong. But just based on what I've seen in the past, and so for me, three dollars I would not pay three dollars for those. They're just I could make my own at home for much cheaper. That tastes better. That's so, true. Yeah. Would um, you pay three doll hairs? I would pay three doll hairs. For three, me, really? But not dollar. I think I have cookies stuck in the back of my throat now. <laughs> anyway, I would give this one. I don't know. I kind of feel the same way. Like I felt like there was more things that I actually enjoyed. Not a lot of new stuff for me though. Like this was. I mean, this was new. The mug cake ended up in both the keto box and the keto crate, so I don't know about that. But everything else is like, I don't know, I would give this one a six. I thought it was already right. liked all these. I did. I, I again, without, with the exception of the Grapau, I've tried the other ones before. But that's the thing I know, and I've said this before. Some people start this subscription as their first time, so they haven't tried this stuff. Dean and I've been doing the subscription boxes since November, I think, of last year. And it's June now, and so we've had several of these boxes. And when there's a lot of repeats, it kind of gets a little bit annoying. It's not bad; some of them are just great repeats. But when you have, again, you have these cookies that are kind of garbage. I think it it makes me a little bit. Eh. Can, can you fine tune this? Nope. As, okay. Nope. It is what it is. Now, the thing is though, when you do get these boxes, either the keto box or the keto crate, they do send you a survey afterwards and you get to rate the box. And so you get to rate the items and you can be as specific as you want to be or just rate them on a star level. 
and I always do give feedback like, hey, I really would pay for this. And they'll ask you, the keto crate will ask you, how much would you be willing to pay for an item like this? Was the value good to you? Was the flavor good? What did you like? What did you dislike? So they do, marketing. they do a lot more research in theirs. And I believe every time you do their survey, they also enter you to win like keto crate for a month or a free subscription or something. Okay. So, so they take the feedback. Uh, keto Box also does a survey too. Theirs isn't as in depth. It is more of a, did you like it or did you not like it? So overall, not terrible, not my favorite one so far, but I think it was cool for mom to get to try two different, uh, yeah, no, two <laughs> different boxes, get to see some of the snacks out there. And anything else to add, do you? No. No? No. Mom? I'm good. We're good. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you've had fun and you've learned some new snacks to try or to avoid. And I will tell you, avoid the cookie. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.